Hi there, Prayer Plant Girl here. I thought today would be a great day to do a quick update on my cherry tree cuttings that I did last spring. So I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, show you what has come of it. So there's the tree that I take the cuttings off of. I had grown it from a cutting off of another tree um, that was starting to show that it was, wasn't doing well so I thought I wanted to take a few cuttings and I actually took this one as quite a large a large cutting a few years ago and it's done very well for me. So last spring I took some cuttings in a video and I'll put a link to it so you can see and I planted them right here in this spot. So I had shown I believe two cuttings around these stakes. I've moved these stakes since because I put some potatoes in here. Um, and we had a real heat wave within a month or less of me doing this video and uh, I was away on holiday and had forgotten to get anyone to water them so I thought they had all died when I came back they were looking pretty dried out and they weren't good and I just kind of ignored them for the rest of the summer when I came to do the potatoes this spring I noticed this one was putting out shoots so you can see at least a few shoots down at the bottom and we just had a real couple hard frosts and some snow I'm not sure the top feels I'm not sure if there's life in the top of it but the bottom definitely took I mean it definitely rooted in there and it's it's doing well so let me grab a trowel and we'll we'll just dig it up and just have a look at it. Let's see if I can dig this up. My goodness. This tree has been busy. So you can see the the roots that have come off of there. It's pretty happy. And as far as I know, this is one of the cherry cuttings that I had put down on the ground there last year. I do play around with the trees a lot and I don't always mark it down, but I'm surprised at these roots. It makes me kind of wonder a little bit now, but I've pulled back the root. Where'd it go now? Oh, here. I've had tugged on this root here that was here wondering if it had actually come off of the high bush cranberry there but it doesn't go over to there it was just sprawled out nicely from this this tree it's not actually connected there and the buds look I think they're the same as the cherry buds there. It has the speckling. Let's see if it'll focus for you. It has that same speckling on the bark the cherry tree has. Whereas the newer growth on the cranberry, I need to get a better angle. The newer growth on the cranberry, it looks completely different. 
and you can see how these bud out differently. The camera doesn't want to focus, but they bud out differently, like it, it's a rounder, it's a different kind of bud that these do. And even how they come, like you can see, they're in pairs on the cranberry. They all come off in pairs. Whereas the cherry, they're not all right in pairs like that. So I'm quite certain this is one of the cherry cuttings that I had put in last year. And it's put on quite a root system. So I'm going to cover these back up for now and I'll have to find a spot for it now that I know it's alive. But that's where it's going to stay for right now. Now I want to show you late this winter, which for us is like March, I just took some stem cuttings of um, that same cherry tree that I took off of last spring and an ornamental apple. So the cherry trees are on the left there, cuttings and the apple are on the right. But you can see these cherries are starting to bud up. And they're looking nice and healthy. Now I'm quite certain they've only been in here a few months. That there's no um, no roots. And I didn't use any rooting hormone or anything on them. So you can see there's no roots evident in that one. And the roots and see you can see here like I didn't even scrape them I just I just cut them off plunk them in the ground just to see what would happen I've never done that before but right now they're they're budding up but I mean you can cut tree stems and put them in a vase in late winter and then they'll bloom in the house and bud up in the water and never necessarily root so I won't say that these are are going to root. And they might just try to butt out here and then uh, lose momentum, but I just did this as a little experiment. And you can see the apples are, are doing the same thing, and again, I doubt they have any rooting. Nothing. This is a, another cherry tree that I had done off that original parent tree that I had in the yard. This one I took with a smaller stem. Um, I can't remember if it was the same year or the year after I did that one at the back of the yard that I've been taking cuttings off of. So it was a lot smaller. took some time to settle in, but I noticed it uh, put off some growth last year, and I'm hoping to get even more this year. Looks like it survived our winter. Looks like it's doing pretty well here. You can see again that the way it buds out and the way the, the bark has those speckling on it, slight red tinge. The buds kind of alternate going up the stem. 
So those are the, the cherry trees I've done from cuttings. And like I said in that other video, I, I don't have a 100% success rate, but I, I do find it works fairly well. Um, so I just thought I'd give you a little update and a little look at what I've grown with these. If you uh, want to check out the original video, then I'll leave that link and you can have a look at it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.